Hey guys, Movie Junkie for Life here, and this is my review of Home Sweet Hell. Don Champagne seems to have it all, but when his wife Mona learns of Don's affair with a pretty new sales girl, Mona will stop at nothing to maintain their storybook life. Starring Katherine Heigl, Jordana Brewster, Patrick Wilson, Kevin McKidd, James Belushi, AJ Buckley, and so on and so on. Um, Home Sweet Hell, if you look at the trailer, it comes across as a comedy. Albeit a dark one, but it comes across as having a lot of laughs. Uh, now that I've seen it, it is not your straight laugh out loud type of comedy, but it's definitely what you call a, a black comedy or a dark comedy. Um, I think the standout performance in this film is really Katherine Heigl. Um, she... It, it would seem to me like this role was made for her. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but she has this reputation in Hollywood as being um, a bit of a bitch. I don't know how true that is. I don't know the lady. Um, so I'm just saying what other people have said. So she's allegedly not a nice person. And um, her character here, Mona, is very similar to how people portray her as being. So... I think maybe she got a kick out of playing this character, maybe playing up to the fact that everybody thinks she's like this. Mona is a stone cold psycho and poor Don is married to this woman. He, She has him on a schedule for everything, including sex. They only have sex maybe, I think it's like three times a year, he said. And he, the poor man is repressed and stressed out and unhappy. And until this young woman named Dusty, played by Jordana Brewster from Fast and Furious, she walks into his life. And, you know, she, of course, he's easy pickings at this point. The man is fruit ripe on the vine. And once uh, it turns Dusty is, uh, says she's pregnant, allegedly she's pregnant, and she starts to ask him for money, he feels like he has no choice but to tell Mona. And uh, Mona's idea of fixing it is to kill Dusty. And it just goes on and on from there. There's a lot of stuff going on um, beneath that. There's a, a few twists and turns. Um, but, you know, it is it is a movie, I guess, about life in general and, and relationships and there is no such thing as a perfect relationship anybody who's been in a long-term relationship can tell you that you know a relationship is about compromise and it takes a lot of work and it takes a lot of patience and it takes a lot of love and th this relationship between these two people it's it's nothing like that it is definitely one-sided Mona has all the power Don is basically a castrated man who it needs to find his backbone years and years and years of Mona telling him what to do you know he he takes long but you know eventually he does stand up for himself in a very big way um that being said I I like the movie I did think did I think it ran too long I think it could have been edited a bit tighter. I think um, I would have liked to see more scenes between um, Mona, um, Catherine Heigl, and Patrick Wilson's character, Don. Uh, when they were on, scene, on screen together, they did quite well with each other. And um, funny enough, as I say that, and I think back, Catherine Heigl really did not spend a lot of the first half of the movie on screen. You know, she would pop up here and there. But she, um, she more took part in like the latter half of the film. And there's a big reveal about her coming down in that latter half that um, it, it surprised me. Because, you know, like I said, the movie is supposed to be a dark comedy. But it, it got really dark, really, really dark at one point. And I think that's where the movie kind of loses points in that they couldn't, the, right, the director didn't seem to know how to balance that whole funny, scary, dramatic aspect of these type of movies. You know, I've seen movies done like this, like, um, do, uh, what it is, um, Throw Mama from the Train and films like that. You know, there's a lot of dark comedies out there. You know, Tucker and Dale, very bad things that are much better done than this. But this movie, it's 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 not a bad movie. It's 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 an enjoyable movie. You're gonna watch it. You're probably not gonna go back and watch it again. But um, if you're fans of the actors, if you're fans of dark comedies like I am, um, I I recommend you check it out. So I give Home Sweet Hell a. Let me think about it. I would say a five and a half out of ten. 
Okay, guys. Till next time. Bye.